This week I made these beautiful brandy cherry bombs. They'd be great for Valentine's Day. You're gonna start off by making a chocolate cake, any kind of cake, Betty Crocker, whatever box cake mix, because what we're gonna do is start making the cake balls. So you take your cake, don't worry about breaking it because you're gonna break it in the bowl anyway. So just pick up your cake. I'm using half of it. If I need more, I'll just take more. And now what you're gonna do is break it up. Make sure there's no big chunks. You can do this in a food processor, do it by hand, do it with forks, whatever makes you comfortable. My hands are very clean. Now you're gonna take about three heaping tablespoons of prepared frosting, about a quarter cup, and you're gonna put it into the mix. Cause this is like a basic cake ball recipe. And now you're gonna incorporate that frosting into the cake. So you can tell when it starts to come together cause you have like less cake in there. But then what you can do is just grab it and see, if, see, that's perfect. See how it holds its shape? That's exactly what you want. Now here's a jar of maraschino cherries. What I did was about two weeks ago, I replaced the liquid that was normally in there and I put in brandy. You can put vodka, you can put bourbon, whiskey, any kind of liquor that you like, or just leave them plain. You don't have to put liquor in them at all. Now just drain your cherries. If you want, you can reserve that liquid to make a cocktail and leave the stems on. Now you're gonna take about a tablespoon and a half of your cake ball mix and you're gonna roll it into a ball. Then you're gonna flatten it out, see? And wrap the cherry with it. Look at that, see? Just make sure that your cherries nicely encased there. After you've wrapped it, just put it on a baking sheet lined with wax paper. And let's make the rest of them. Now after you're done, you're gonna put them in the fridge for about an hour to set. After they've set up in the fridge for about an hour, you're gonna dip them in chocolate. You know what's nice is that the cherry stem acts almost like a handle. I like that. Look at that. Okay, just make sure you cover it well. It's gorgeous. Look at that. I'm gonna drip off and then back onto the wax paper. I used eight ounces of semi-sweet chocolate chips and then I added a couple of tablespoons of vegetable oil just to loosen it up a bit. And this melting pot, by the way, I've used this many times in other videos and I can't say enough about it because it melts it and keeps it warm. It has a melt setting and a warm setting. So it's excellent for things like this and I use it all the time. I'm gonna put a link in the video description where you can purchase it. Now I'm gonna put them back in the fridge so the chocolate would set for about 20 minutes or so. So you just take your leftover chocolate, put it into a baggie, snip a little, little bitty hole and it just makes it look so pretty. No, you won't. I know you. What do you think, Frank? How do they look so far? They're good. You could even melt the white chocolate. Yes. You know what would look nice? You melt white chocolate and tint it red. And there you go. They look so pretty for Valentine's Day. But I didn't want to go through that ordeal. So. <laughs> but you got the idea. Yes, but I got the idea. So use my idea, people. And look how easy this is to do. Your idea. Well, you, your idea, I'm sorry. Listen, you're just a good looking tripod over there, so be quiet. Uh, I hate being treated as an object. you love it. Okay, they're done. Aren't they pretty? They look gorgeous, don't they? Don't they look nice? They love to eat. <gasps> and you know, I'll tell you, I think if I would have done white chocolate stripes instead of the leftover chocolate, but still, look how, look how stunning they, Cherry bombs, they're cherry bombs. They're perfect for Valentine's Day, don't you think? Yes, let's light one up. Ah, I'm gonna cut one in half just so you can see it. They still haven't set completely. But look at that, see? 
Isn't that pretty? Do you want the other half? Eat it. Let me know what you think. Mmm. Oh, I can taste the brandy. So good. Mmm. Do you like it? Yeah, that's pretty good cherry. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's so delicious. I love it, love it. So decadent, so pretty. And like I said, you don't have to put the cherries in liquor if you don't want to. But look how nice, right? Happy Valentine's Day with these, huh? You like it? Yeah. I hope you try these. Don't forget to thumbs up and enjoy. For more dessert recipes, check out my playlist. And don't forget to subscribe. I post a new video every Saturday.